All right, as you can tell, I'm down on the shoreline. I'm gonna be flipping over all these rocks looking for Asian crabs. I'm using them as fishing bait for early springtime blackfish. If you're gonna be out here at low tide flipping rocks, I highly recommend you wear corkers with the metal spikes because some of these rocks, like with this seaweed and with that wet algae, this stuff is super slippery. If you're wearing rubber soles, you're probably gonna wipe out. Uh, so without further ado, let's find some bait. I try and find the rocks that are like close to the water but not too deep underwater. So something like this has potential to have some Asian crabs in it. Oh my god, the mother load! The first flip! Look at that! That's a gold mine! Oh, I gotta keep getting them. Dude, what a flip! I'm not joking, that was my first flip of the day. Get off. Lost a big boy. Man! That was awesome! Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, baby. That's a nice big one. These are all very good size Asian crabs, man. This is a good harvest. Yep, another mother load. Holy crap, bro. It's like six or seven good ones right there. You ain't going nowhere. And a quick little spiel about the old uh, Asian crab, which is pinching the hell out of my glove right now is that they're technically an invasive species, meaning a long time ago, I don't know exactly when, they jumped on some trading ships and found their ways into our waters and their populations just exploded. They seem to outcompete like the blue crabs in the, in the natural life out here. All right, now let's see what we can got here. I forgot my gloves, so this might hurt a little bit. There's a few, get you, get you, get you. Good flip, man. First flip. Four good sized Asian crabs. One run under that rock, but. Oh, what a flip! Oh my god. I just lost two big boys because I was. That's how fast it is. When you flip, if you don't just like whoosh, scoop them up, you're gonna lose some. These guys are too small. I'll let them escape. I think this rock will have some. Yep. Hold mine. Holy mackerel. These are. Some good flips today, man. Good flips. Uh-oh, I think I see the mother load. This rock right here is gonna have at least five if I flip it right. I just don't wanna... Oh my God, yup, look at that. I wish I had gloves because I really don't wanna scoop in and grab all those because they will pinch me. I'm sure someone will make fun of me. Move that for a sec. Get you. Come here. Get you. Get you. Oops, dropped him. Did I not call that rock? I totally called that rock. I was like, this is gonna be a good rock. Ugh. Holy crap, look at all those. Oh my God. They're everywhere. Oh. I lost so many, they, they all filtered back here. I can't keep up with them. Ah, oh, man down. I'm a bumbling idiot today. Oh man, the harvest is bountiful today. Mother nature is providing. All right, I have my bucket of Asian crabs that I harvested from the shoreline yesterday. I'll show you guys how I use this as fishing bait. So what I have here is a blackfish jig. I believe this is two ounces. And what you do is you take half of the Asian crab here. He's dead, don't worry. Obviously he's cut in half. Get some of the legs off. And then I take the blackfish jig and I go in between the leg socket. We'll go with this one. And then you just kind of want to poke the hook out a little bit, just like that. So if you grab it, it's firm. You can't really like wiggle it. If it's like all loosey goosey, it's gonna fall off in one second. And then on top of that, I take the top shell off to add some extra bait, um, excuse me, add some extra scent to the water. So then take your jig, find some structure, and you drop it on down. And hopefully the blackfish are gonna be chewing. It's still very early in the season, so I don't know how good the bite's gonna be. There we go, there's a fish. Nice. He was playing with me, man. 
That's what I'm talking about. Feels like an okay tog. Come on up. Yeah, look at that. Another nice little white chin up, baby. <laughs> oh, baby, I've missed these fish. Oh, man, might be a little smaller than the last one, but uh, I'll take that, man. For early April, I will absolutely take that. That's what I'm talking about. Look at the dagger on this thing, man. Whew. Look at that front tooth. Oh, that's sharp. Here we go, man. Another tog, maybe right at keeper size, maybe a little short. I'm not keeping them. Nice white chin male. Away he goes. Oh, I'm fired up. Fired up. <laughs> 